I started, uh, it, was, it was when I was young with my grandfather. Um, he was a groundskeeper for the Blossom family in Cleveland, so I was kind of running around with him and he had his wood shop at the Blossom, um, at the Blossom Estate. So I just kind of shadow him and watch him do his thing. And then my father's dad also built houses in Pittsburgh. So I'd kind of watch him do his thing and I was always kind of fascinated with it. Once I retired from the military, I came home, I built a piece, and then once I built that piece, I kind of found out that I was pretty good at what I did, and then it was a, you know, I enjoyed doing what I did, so it started out in my garage. Once people started reacting to what I was doing, I knew I needed to get into a storefront, so I got into the storefront. What I bring to the table that a lot of the refurbishing places don't, if they want a piece done in a certain color, but they need it to be this size, that's where I come into play, to where I can actually build that piece and then refinish that piece the way that the customer would want to redone. Crooked Nail kind of, it kind of came from watching my grandparent or watching both my grandfathers. So they, they were in a generation to where when a nail was, um, when a nail got bent, as opposed to me, if I bend a nail, I just throw it away because I can get nails for, for much cheaper than what they did there. As opposed to my grandfathers, they always had coffee cans of a bunch of crooked nails and bent nails that they were gonna straighten out and use later. So it was just kind of a unique way for me to capture that. One of my biggest sellers is uh, the birdhouses that I do. They kind of call me the Mad Hatter of the birdhouses because I take all of these cast iron pieces, just stuff that people would generally just probably throw away or not have any idea what they're doing or not, you know, what this piece was meant for, what this came from, whether it be tractors, anything off a farm, any style of it. I kind of build these birds at birdhouses out of this barn wood, and then I just do my own little tweaks to it. In Ashtabula, we have many demographics here. Um, we have, you know, obviously we have the boat and the beach crowd because the lake's pretty much right behind me. You know, we have the lift bridge, we have all these yacht clubs that are going down through here. But then if you go 10 miles south, we also have, we have the country. I try to feed both sides, you know, I have, you know, one side to where it's all the beach and the nautical and everything else, and then I'll do my rustic. I'll do the old milk cans, different things like that that people want on their porch. I sell pieces that I buy at an auction or I find somewhere, and I'll just sell them the way that I bought them a lot of the times. And then you have the newer people where it's more of a trendy thing to bring out your colors, to bring this, or they have this, you know, this china hutch from the 1950s that when their grandparents had it, it was the style. Now it's just kind of, it's just kind of dull and kind of plain. That's where I come into the mix and then I can usually color match whatever they want and just kind of antique it and bring my own little flavor into it. It's one thing for me to take a picture of the piece while it's in the shop and then it's another thing for the customer to bring me back, oh look what we did, you know, look where this is at. And that shows me my piece in their home and then the nice part is, is most of the time after my first job is done, they're coming back for the next one and they're coming back for the next one. Or they see something that they can't quite figure out where to put in their house yet, and then they come back. Once they find out where they're going to put it, they come back to do that.